when you, when you think about Vegas before all this was going on, the only things that people were playing in the clubs were radio records, yeah, were right. records people knew. Yeah. But it started changing because the, the way that people perceive or access and discover music has changed entirely. Mm -hmm. Dead Mouse isn't on the radio, yet he's one of the biggest yeah. DJs in Las Vegas. Right. That's a testament to how powerful this music is, how it doesn't, you don't need the major institutions to be able to, to be able to spread this music to the right people. The way, like Aoki said, like people starting to access their music through the internet and like all these other ways of finding music, it started to change. We're in the iPod culture now, where people listening to so many different kinds of music and they liking so many different kinds of music and exploring and getting into so many different kinds of music that, like I said, they just got tired of the radio. It was other people making better records and good music that were underground and they started to listen to that stuff and these artists got bigger and bigger. Shecky's a good friend of mine. He's a actually a very close friend of DJ Am's. DJ Am was one of my best friends. Mm -hmm. And we became friends through, through Am. And then when Shecky was like, hey, I'm opening up this club with with Sean and and uh, and, and Wynn, um, I, I want you to be the music director and, and be one of our main guys. And it was really important that he was kind of the first resident DJ here because he drew, he was so, so different from what was being played that he personally almost dragged all of Vegas along with him. And now what we have is this, this two years later, in a completely new scene, and he's been a huge part of it, absolutely. The business model that these guys have is more efficient than what record companies do. The web is the main way that people consume music, but with these guys, they're producing music, they're distributing it all from a laptop. So music has become almost a free tool that promotes their live show. I think for certain people, something like this studio would mean a lot to them. Uh, but you know the the day and the time of you know like the the era that we live in, um, everyone's like just like John was saying. You just plug in your computer into your system, and that you work everything in the box just right off the computer. It's, yeah, you use like a bit of technology and really creativity and and uh, you know what what's influencing your sound at that, that moment.